Welcome to the official YouTube channel of the Silesian Bridge Foundation. My name is Bart and I'll be your host for today's episode. And today we're going to bring you a story of French prisoners of war, the report of this mission, of this project that was taking place here in 44 and 45. So we are talking about six French prisoners of war from a local concentration camp where a bunch of the prisoners of war were held in Wambinovica. We're going to give you a a spelling in the closed captioning. So we have six of them. Uh, they were brought up here uh, as a labor, free labor, presumably, and they were doing majority a bulk of this project. Sadly, a uh, majority of them, all of them died, perished. We're going to show you a place where we believe that the bodies of five of them are, and at the end of the episode, we're going to show you a grave of the sixth one. So let's go. Let's follow in their footsteps right here at the Minkowski Palace. So we are in the orangery right now. Underneath our tent, which is partially open, which we needed to open up in order to perform core drills. This is where the six French prisoners of war did their most important tasks, the most labor. So it is here where they were doing the drill hiding the they hid the deposits and then they covered it up with uh, soil and greenery and this is where their most important task happened and this is uh, from here they took him on to the next location once everything was done and covered that's when they moved to another location which we're going to go now so from our orangery von stein which was one of the leader of this whole operation right here brought our prisoners of war our frenchmen right in this area now based on all the information that we have and the preliminary tests that we have done right here exactly we believe that this is the place where they perish this is the place where they're very likely they got killed now they were witness to the very important operation. They were prisoners of war. Likelihood of them surviving was, was minimal, if any. Out of six, we believe that all six of them are perished. Uh, based on information that we have, our research, we believe that five of them are resting right here. Few shots. And von Stein took care of it. Now, why we believe exactly here. So we have some verbal information passed on to us all the way from Inga. We have uh, a, a, a metal detector test done here. And we also have some old school tests done. And they all point out right here. There's one more thing that we have un uncovered right here very recently the greenery was very wild something similar to this uh, much taller actually and there was one thing that we have discovered there's a small figure of saint mary from lourdes in france it has been lying on the ground in between the greenery now sure it's tiny it looks it's it's weathered but that's the tradition in Poland. You put a little figure, you put a little candle in commemoration of whoever is here. Now, St. Mary from Lourdes, French, France location. Is this coincidence that we have French people and we have a French Mary um, from Lourdes? Is it also a coincidence that she's a patron of all who suffer? I mean, there's a lot of questions, there's a lot of information. For us, it all adds up that we're in the right location. 
Uh, based on our test, we believe they're a little over a meter deep. And we're in the process of uh, contacting French authorities, French embassy in Warsaw. Hopefully by the time you're watching it, we're already having some productive conversations. Uh, ideally, we want to know what would be the best scenario to do with their remains here. What to do with it. Uh, ideally, uh, perform tests. Uh, ideally, send them on their last trip back home to France. We have a list of prisoners of war at the local camp. So we have an additional source how we can maybe try to find their names. So this is right here. We're five of them. I'm going to talk about one more shortly. We're five of them perished. I hope the St. Mary is watching over them. We're back in the Minkowski Palace. We're walking slowly into the Oval Room. This has been looking beautifully back in its heyday in 1944-1945. This is here where everything took place uh, as far as the social life and everything around. Uh, what I'm looking over the window on a beautiful view out onto the park, out onto the little bridge, and towards the end, we see a chapel. Beautiful look at the garden. Now, looking through this window, the place where we believe that French bodies are buried is exactly in a straight line towards the chapel. Now, what happened here when this was taking place? It, what was in the palace? So Inga was right here. Inga was, had a very close emotional connection uh, with the French prisoners. Uh, it is believed that she could have had an affair with one of the Frenchmen uh, while she was also having an affair or being an official equivalent of a partner girlfriend to von Stein, who was responsible for the killings. So that what was going inside of her when she was standing here what we were being told is that the window was totally cover, covered black, so she wouldn't be able to see. However, she did hear the shots. Five shots. And her beloved French perished right there. It was going through her, inside her, I don't think I can even explain it. But let's move on. So we are right across from the palace. Based on the information that we have gathered from our sources, but also speaking with the locals that do have that do recall a lot of it, the body of the sixth French prisoner of war dead was found here, across the street from the palace. However, it has not been laid down here. So we're gonna go there next. So we're leaving the palace to the left. There's a place where the body of the sixth Frenchman was found. And now we're going to where the body of the sixth Frenchman is being buried. We're going to be there very shortly. It's a very short distance away. Now, a few words about von Stein, Inga, and the Frenchman. Some might say there was a love triangle. Or some might say that von Stein was a very, very cruel Nazi officer. From what we know, he was extremely cruel. He took pleasure in killing or in, in making people suffer. Maybe that's why 
he decided to kill them while Inga was present, possibly even suspecting that one of those French men was her lover, or she was in love with one of them, just to increase the suffering, the cruelty. Now, did he accomplish that? I would say probably fully. He lived up to his reputation. Now, the sixth one, why the sixth one died somewhere else in addition to the five previous ones? It's because he needed one of them to bury the five. He also needed the sixth one to help bury his own treasure, his family chest that were in Minkowski. So that's why he needed the sixth one to live a little longer. Was the mission accomplished? I would say fully. Now, we're at a local cemetery. It is here where the locals buried and look after the grave of an unknown French soldier. How long is it gonna be unknown for? We hope to determine that. What are we gonna do with it? We're in a conversation with the French authorities to find that out. Right now, what we can do is pay our respect. where the story brought us to the grave of an unknown soldier what is extremely heartwarming and fills me with hope is that even though this grave is 76 years old we see a candle we see flowers locals not only buried him here 76 years ago but also look after this grave remember we all matter this is just a living proof of that now some might say this is the beginning of this is the end of the story I think this is the only beginning, beginning of the story. Us bringing this all information about those six prisoners of war to you, to the rest of the world, beginning the process of having a dialogue with French authorities to know what would be the best ideal steps in order to ultimately bring them back to France, to their homeland. I think it's just, just a beginning of their story. Okay. Stay tuned. We hope to deliver some more information on that. We hope to find more information. And hopefully St. Mary from Lourdes is watching over them. So thank you for watching. Until next time.